hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Nomfundo, and if you're joining me for the very first time thank you so much for stopping by please click subscribe before you leave and if you've been here before if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for the support guys so as you can tell today's video is a fun q a but yo guys nibuza i'm a question deep but yeah, I have a special guest. So before I reveal my guest, okay, well, you can already tell by the title. But before he comes on here, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please share, and enjoy the video. So, <laughs> so do you want to introduce yourself or should uh, I? Please don't, don't turn. Oh. Oh wow! <laughs> I was actually. You don't turn on this zoo. I don't know. We're saying it in a zoo. Turn a, turn a, oh, oh, cool man, we're living at the baggy parts. Wow. Okay. Wow. Because uh, okay, I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking of this zoo. Ma, ma, I'm talking. The thing that's like it's all about this thing. I'm talking. But I'm thinking like it's all about this thing. I'm thinking like it's all about this thing. Wow, okay guys, so today we have a Q&A and I put up that cute thing on Instagram But I haven't introduced myself Because you, okay, I'm okay. sorry, introduce okay. yourself mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, welcome to my channel, Mami Pile Woo! As I was saying guys, so I put up that sticky thing um and i said ask us a question and you guys did and i have the questions here um i'm i the so they are very deep <laughs> <laughs> so i'm not gonna mention any names because some questions were similar so i just took one so i don't want to feel like i don't want people to feel like um i'm leaving them out like or you know Really so, wow, well, just relax. <sighs> Pretend like we are just talking to our friends. Anyways, okay. okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, so I'm gonna start with the chilled ones. Um, yo, how did you guys meet? Uh, I think. Should I? Should, yeah. yeah, I can actually just answer that. Uh, it's a quick one, really. Um, we met. How is it? How? Yes. How we met? Okay, we actually met way back in 2014 through the orientation. Because mm -hmm. at one point in time, we were studying the same thing mm -hmm. until one of us decided wow. to just disappear and start studying their own thing. <laughs> It was so unnecessary to <laughs> tell the story. <laughs> but yeah, we actually met through orientation. Uh, went to the same varsity. So uh, before school opened, just them giving us a brief. And I knew a friend from high school. And it so happened. Uguti Ukel, Babi Ama roommates. So when a man was in high school, he was high school. And then man gets in. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's, wow. Yeah, that was yeah. the long and the short of it, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's that's basically how we met. So I think the lesson here is attend classes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's how we met. I'm Guys, not I want English. yeah, no, like and they are deep, so I'm looking for the lighter ones. Um, what do you love most about each other? No, you go first. I go first. Um, I love that you are kind. <clears throat> yeah, I love that he is a kind. Look at the humility now. <laughs> you are kind and you are giving and you um you giving. Really, yes. What do you uh, mean? Giving. You are giving. You are you like here. No, very... no, I'm thinking like giving my a bless of sorts, maybe. You you are a blessing, <laughs> but you are giving. Like I, I feel like a lot of people, even 
outside of the relationship a lot of people can rely on me and i love that about you that you know you are reliable and i love that you love god yeah your turn yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> you know as she was saying some things i'm trying to think but my mind is just going wayward <laughs> so uh long and the short um i just love i love being around her i enjoy her space uh she's quite welcoming i think if you guys i promise if you guys were to meet her somewhere she'd be all Hi, yeah. and you'd actually know yourself feel really embraced so she's quite open uh very uh, welcoming of people and i like that and i'm glad that i'm the first one who's oh. welcome <laughs> and um the one that feels the greatest embrace from her um man i just really enjoy her space she's funny she's got jokes for days I'm funny, and i'm funnier yeah. if there's such, there's such a word as funnier <laughs> yes yes i'm funnier uh anyways um... <laughs> okay moving right along um who is the sensitive one i think we both know <laughs> I think in this relationship it's okay it's me <laughs> it's not But a shame it, it, does it depend though yeah on... i think so because some things matter more to me some things matter more to you and then some things you don't understand yeah and then some things i'm just like hey bro sometimes i just feel like you know guys i feel like you're zen z so it's not that deep <laughs> But, but hey, I, I, I honestly can't deny that. I think I'm a bit, a bit, a bit more sensitive compared to her. Yeah. And then, um, mm, how, you? Okay. How did you guys know you were the one for each other? Ah! And do you believe in the one? Please take it. I have my view. You have. Okay. Your view. Okay. Personally, I don't believe in the one. Like, I would see um this person doesn't want you or is lost. So now you're not gonna be happy or be married or whatever. So I don't believe. I don't really believe in the one. However, I do believe that there are some people that God instructs um clearly. So I wish I would pray that I every Sunday. But <laughs> But, but also honestly not to say it can never happen. yeah i'm not saying it we can just never. kind of not have a blanket approach mm, and, uh, mm. so and there are people who will say god told me to this person is my husband and when i went to uh and then two months later the husband came to me and said god told me that to my <laughs> wife and you know it's just a mystical story and it's so cute and whatever it happens but it's not so with everyone so yeah so how did you know as the one um and when did you know let me add uh, 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 uh. <laughs> is it always saying how did i know i was the one um no man i mean how did i know that you were the one uh basically <clears throat> in context to the one that i wanted basically just to clarify the one that, that you want to marry the one I, that think, I wanted to not marry. just wanted oh wow <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that you're the one that I wanted to marry? Oh man, it it was really over a period of years, uh, over a period of time. Really, it just so happened that whenever there was, uh, should I say, you just so happened to always be in my life at the most crucial points, uh, and you were. <laughs> actively there helping me grow uh actively there supporting me in all ways I'm academically this guy yeah we're not dating <laughs> or anything just friends and honestly if there was even a time for you to cut off our friendship you would have because it's like i literally pulled you into my world mm -hmm. and my interests and you gladly came And it was quite weird. I don't know about Mufunaini, but 
just a it, good friend. We did a lot of things that I enjoyed and it was even the pressure that I would face. She'd be more than willing to help me through it and the load that I would carry, she'd be more than willing to help me carry it. Uh, I think there was a lot of times where we used to even study together and that is like, academically yeah, like really, study. really study together so it was quite a weird friendship mm -hmm. that we had mm -hmm. and yeah man and i'm going to put it if i'm a shamila in a body guys he's all put into a single and it was really that man mm -hmm. This person is really there for me. And Mati at times I would take first place. Empileni Yako though. Nati, you really care about me so deeply. Oh wow. Such a, wow. Such a great person. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. You think it it was a thing of at times be me coming first in your life. Mm -hmm. And I think it was also reciprocated with you also coming first in my life. And so for me, it wasn't really now rocket science. I just knew with the aim killing me and her. And that's just the really the face of it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to go into greater details yeah. around that. Okay, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> I'm just going to smile. Um, okay, okay, this is similar, but yeah. How do you know a person is right for you? I think the previous one is it's kind of no, but this way. was your personal thing. But how, in general, in how general, do you know a I mean, I'm right? gonna just speak even from my experience. I think it's them being really supportive. I mm -hmm. think that's one thing that we all desire: someone that you can just literally um, call on to any time, mm -hmm. uh, someone that you can just openly express even the most bizarre of ideas that you may have. If especially I've seen, I saw with myself, um, I really at times spend most times in my thoughts, mm -hmm. and I there may be other people like me, but you want to somehow invite someone into your perspective mm -hmm. of life, your perspective of things, uh, your perspective of you know current affairs, and so if that person is really, they always willing to listen. To what you have to say, in a way that is a tick. I have someone that I can go talk to. Mm -hmm. uh, very supportive of you. Mm -hmm. Very supportive of your ideas. Believes in you. I think that's a major one. Also believing in you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just say three, and then I talk a lot, guys. I can talk. <laughs> yep, you done. Yeah. Okay, for me, I think the most important thing is that a person. For me, okay, they may not be the one, the one, but I think a person is right for you if they they are not toxic, so they are not abusive. First of all, I know we don't, you know, um, and then also they encourage you to be yourself, you know, growing in who you are and not what they want you to become, because. If they wanted someone like that, then they should go for someone like that. It's not you, you know? Yeah, so a person who really uh, cheers you to become a better version of you, not a version that they have in their heads of you. Okay? But also, I need to add that we should stop focusing on, is this person right for me? But start focusing am I, on, am I the right person? Because you need to be right when I'm within yourself. A relationship with yourself first be okay alone first and then you can now start saying is this person right for me and also when you are whole and grounded it's easy to reject anything that does not recognize your value okay so yeah I think the most important thing is am I the right person for me not even for anyone else but for me first am I am I the right person are you the right person for you? <laughs> I think also, just to add, uh, in conclusion, what helped us mostly, or greatly even, is the fact that we are believers. So the purpose side of things was quite key for us. 
Oh, it's okay, purpose, and we both kind of see where we are called to mm -hmm. and where we have to go to. And man, it's it's a partnership at the end of the day, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next question. I don't know anymore what I read. I think this um, video okay. is quite long. <laughs> Okay, when do you think is the right time for young Christians yeah. to pursue a romantic relationship? <laughs> Emphasis on young. <laughs> oh, yeah. Young, 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 young in age or young in Christ. Ooh, uh, that's, I think, yeah. no, but I think it's young in age, not young in, in Christ. Age like us. Yeah, not in Christ. Because okay. if you're young in Christ, then, then don't. don't. <laughs> If you're still a babe, don't. I mean, yeah, I think if you're young in Christ, to be it, the <laughs> encouragement really is to just grow in the person of Him. Um, grow in who you are. Uh, grow in understanding your very purpose, also your reason of being, really. Mm -hmm. um, so, young in Christ, not to dating. Yes. <laughs> uh, there's no general rule. You won't find a scripture, I don't think. I'm not sure. Yeah. But just don't. Uh, it's advice. <laughs> it's, 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 I think it's the best thing for you for and you. the person and, yeah. as well, the other person. But, but young in age, I don't think you know, there's a prescribed age. There isn't. However, I don't think, I think in high school, that shouldn't be your, um, your focus. No, 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 it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be, okay, let me try and answer this <laughs> Ah, when, when, when is it the right time for a young couple to... A, a, a young Christian to yeah. pursue a romantic relationship. A romantic and it's relationship. a guy who asked, so I think ah, you yeah. guys are the ones who pursue and so in the when is it the right time? Okay now. Island <laughs> uh, If it is a it's a young Nego, a young believer, mm -hmm. um when is it the right time to pursue I think at that point in time, let's say you've at least somewhat matured in knowing who you are mm -hmm. and who you are really is coded <clears throat> in the person of Christ and in you growing in relationship with him. Um, I think that should be the greatest uh, foundation to have really. Mm -hmm. And I think also when you like, um, you have a relationship with God. God is not silent about yes. matters. He cares yes. about every um, area of your life. So if you get into a time where you feel like, yo, I I want to write about law. I mean, they're still God. just speaking on pursuing a relationship, yes. not necessarily being married. Yes. Okay. So if you feel that like okay manje i think or you see a good guy so you know then you feel like oh my heart is beating in ways it has never beaten before then i think ask god because there's no prescribed age we can say after you done with school and then some people literally they meet their future spouses in grade eight you know even though it's not advisable as a high school <laughs> But the, what I'm saying is when you have a relationship with God, he cares about every area of your life and he, he won't be silent unless you want him to be silent, which, and I could not call out he's silent, you just ignore him. Yeah. Sure. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that is more challenging than it looks. It really, right away. it really yeah. is. But yeah, I think, I think when you start feeling some type of way, it's important to talk to God, but also be accountable because yeah. the people, um, like people in your community and maybe leaders, they know you. So they see even certain things in you that you might be in denial of and they can say, okay, yes, wait a bit. We think maybe you're not ready or okay. We think maybe you are ready. So I think as like talking to God about it and also be account being accountable to other people really help so there's i don't know when the right time is yes. the right time is when god says yes 
Oh gosh. <laughs> but I'm I'm trying to even think of it uh societally now. Of what the you are bound to get into a relationship and not really all of them will just work out for for good and we're not really oblivious of that mm, but also and i believe which is just because god did not say no it doesn't mean it's marriage yeah yeah that's why that's why i think yeah that's why you don't a relationship is not marriage you don't yeah. let it all out and you know it's it's and it's also not a dress rehearsal for marriage so yep <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> I also don't know. Hey, should we move on? Yes. <laughs> um. Okay. When's the right time if a person is not necessarily Christian? I I can't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. This one also. I don't know if we'll be able to answer it, but I'll read it. What do you think are the five um five. keys? To a healthy relationship. Doesn't this one also go with how uh, how to lift the person? Not is? really. Now it's a okay for me. Okay, I'll try to answer Please. it. For me, I don't have five keys. That's a very specific <laughs> number. <laughs> but I think a healthy relationship is a relationship that um, there's mutual respect. So. Uh, he respects you you respect him and it's rooted in love and so that's number two yeah okay. i guess that's number two <laughs> and then there's also a uh, healthy communication mm -hmm. and yeah i think yeah and there's a healthy level of trust yeah yeah, yeah i think so those were four keys yeah i think i have four keys <laughs> i'll still attain the fifth one Ask me next year. <laughs> um, okay, I read this. I... So, guys, our natural light is gone, and I just realized that the video is too long. It's going to be close to an hour if I upload the whole thing. Oh, so, I decided to cut it, and then I'll do a part one and a part two. So, I hope you liked this video, guys. Please comment, share. And subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and God loves you too. Bye.